Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to get Minecraft Worlds from your Xbox to your PC. First of all, you're going to want to load up Minecraft. <laughs> Once it loads. Once it's loaded, just click play. And then you see your world, just click on it. If you haven't loaded in with the new world update, you're gonna click on it, update and play. And once you load in the world, just uh, leave the world. And after that, you can quit your game. Make sure you look at the picture. And then you're gonna go to Microsoft Edge. Go to this website right here, gamer13.github.io. There's no E in gamer there, in gamer though. And then you're gonna look for Durango FTP, download app. It's gonna bring you Microsoft Store, and then you're gonna install it. And then you're gonna go and launch it, which it pops up as a game. You know, launch it. And then you'll see this. I just allow anonymous because I don't care. It's on my local Wi Fi. And you're just going to press start. And after that, what I like to do is I like to use FileZilla client. I'll leave it in the description. So I just open it host if we go back here it says the IP is this 192.168.40.90 so that's what I'm going to type and then username we don't need or password port 21 quick connect and then you're going to see all this stuff you're going to double click local folder and then you're going to scroll down until you see microsoft.minecraft which is right here double click that local state games combat mojang minecraft worlds and you'll see all these worlds i think this might be it to find out just like double click on the world icon and then it's gonna download it in my files You you just go to users and your user, and then you're gonna make sure hidden items is on, in view app data, local, and then you're gonna find packages, Minecraft, local state. Games, Combat Mojang, Minecraft Worlds, and this is how you get it on PC. And then if you want to look at the image that you downloaded, it says where it downloaded right here. Users, that, world icon. So if I just, I'm going to copy this real quick. I'm going to go here, users, and then world icon. If that was the, that was the icon for the tutorial world, as you've seen earlier. So I'm going to... That's the world I want. So I'm going to go back here. Back out of this. Click on this. Well, I mean, right click on the folder. Download. It's going to download all the stuff. Go back in. Go to my local disk. Users. Edgar, whatever. And then we're going to see this. I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to paste it. And I not gonna do that app data local packages and we're gonna look for minecraft well if you want to you can just click like on any folder and do 
you can just type it. If it'll... Yeah, you can just type Microsoft.Minecraft and it'll pop up. Don't mess up like me, though. Minecraft Worlds, then we're gonna paste. Which, I already have it. I did it earlier. You won't get this, it was just paste in there. I'll replace it for the video. Then after it's replaced, you don't need hidden items on anymore, but I keep it on. And I'm just going to look at Minecraft Launcher. Okay, make sure it loads in. And you get Minecraft for Windows, not Java. I can do a video on Java if you want that, though. And then my worlds are here. The tutorial world's there. That's the one, probably. Yeah. The line is made so it's a copy. And that's how you get worlds from Xbox to PC. Hope you enjoyed it.